Hey guys, welcome to another video. How are you guys doing? If you're new, hey, do not forget to smash that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, mwah, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really appreciate it. So, I'm actually excited today because today we are doing our September TBR. No, oh my god, I said TBR again. Today we are doing September wrap-up video. You guys, I read 10 books in September and I'm going to tell you all about it. And also, guys, I got an embosser. Is that what's called? Book embosser. So I'm going to be stamping my books, okay? Because why not? You know, that's something I, like, I can't wait to actually do that. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Hey guys. Okay, so um so far excited. Okay. So the first book I read in September is this one, Twisted Eight by Anna Huang. I've been reading the Twisted series for a while now. So I was so happy. I just wanted to actually get into it again and you know be in that era so i had to pick it up so this is the third book and it talks about josh and jules ambrose so josh ava's brother and jules ava's friend so they are enemies they, they can't stand each other in the book you actually see how both of them fell in love of course they fell in love it's a romance book what do you expect but you get to see so many other things you you dive into jules background and also Josh, you know, he'll try to overcome some also some barriers. You know that Alex was Josh's best friend. Then you get to see how they would build on that relationship also. And you see a little bit of of Alex here. And I'm so, so happy about that. So it's giving enemies to lovers. It's giving crazy people that hate each other. The way it happened eh, is amazing. But I don't want to spoil it for you. But yeah. I really enjoyed it guys i really really loved it this had a lot of quotes a lot of things that josh said that was just blowing my head like my head was just <laughs> and i was like oh my god josh do you know that you're killing me right now but i gave it a 4.5 stars i i almost gave it a five stars just because of something that happened that really pissed me off the way josh actually under the particular situation and also the way he was always saying get on your knees get on your knees i'm like what the fuck like what why are you why are you saying it like that get on your knees like it's it was becoming cringy i was like oh <laughs> apart from that i love the book let me read one of the things that josh said at this part jules was asking that what are you willing to give to me and then josh said everything my heart my soul my dignity what do you want me to do jules do you want me to fucking beg Say the word and I'll be on my knees. Yes, Josh! <laughs> there were so many more. Like, it was just saying so many things that were just sparking my brain. We may still fight and argue sometimes, but at the end of the day, she's it. Like, he, he said something like that. She's it for me. Oh my God. Like, ooh. <laughs> okay, I need to calm down. I need to calm down. That's that with that one. Then I read The Flat Chair by Beto Larry. I read this with my girls. I actually tried to you guys i actually tried so hard to convince kenny to read this because kenny is not a romance girly you know so i convinced kenny and Ori to read this with me they, they wanted to read a romance or something different from thrillers they love thrillers like crazy and i don't read thrillers as much as they do because i don't have much thrillers but i want to get a kindle soon okay soon just 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 hold on for me you get my okay my kindle soon this one it talks about leon and tiffy tiffy has been on and off with her ex-boyfriend justin and something happened he chased her out of the house she needed a place to stay and all that so she she also even needed to start afresh because that justin is very very toxic oh my god he's the most annoying boyfriend ever so she needed an apartment asap and leon is a nurse and he <laughs> He actually also needs a roommate and he has a girlfriend, Kay. So they will share the bed, but they will not be in the apartment at the same time. So Tiffy, when Tiffy's in the apartment, Josh will be at work. Uh, Leon, uh, Josh. I'm still in Twisted series, guys. Because they, they don't see each other, so they have to communicate, you know? So they have to write on post-it notes and they put it on the door, or put it on the fridge. And it was so cute. I really liked reading. I really, really liked reading their letters let me call it letters to themselves i really liked it it was cute it made them open up 
and become free with one another even though they've not seen each other at all you know the way they met was actually very funny god <laughs> funny and i liked it so much it was quite expectable but yeah and justin keeps going and coming back and going and coming back and also this has damaged tiffy tiffy is actually not in the right mental space so yeah we get to see how she gets away from her boyfriend her ex-boyfriend and also how she develops new feelings for leon you know and leon leon is actually really, really cute because he talked about not just romance it, it's a closed door romance but uh it talks about gaslighting emotional abuse and also found family because um tiffy has the most amazing friends like our friends i really really like i gave it four stars because it is a very 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 slow book like it's so slow this is the second book by this author Bethel larry that i'm reading you know guys i read uh the no show and i told you about it in one of my wrap-up videos and apart from that i didn't like the way leon's pov was written it was quite robotic if you ask me i felt like you can check out my instagram post on this then you see ore's point of view and all you see kenny's point of view about the book the next book i read you guys is this one the crow friends by Oli black okay okay mm. guys this is my first fantasy read it took me on a freaking ride oh my god i was hit left and right by so many things that were just happening up and down up and down so there's this guy named mordok well he's a creature it's a it's a fairy he's a fairy i don't know if it's supposed to be pronounced fairy or fairy and the funniest thing is all of them don't look the same they all they all look differently so mordok came from fairy land to human land and it took jude taran and vivi so vivi is his real daughter jules taran are twins mordok came to the human land because his wife ran away with his child and also married a human so the, the wife is a human but he's a fairy so he came in to take his daughter but because the wife was being stubborn so he ended up killing the wife and the husband that she's married to now he came to take vivi but he could not leave the two of them because they're now his responsibility you get so he had to carry them to fairy so it now talks about how they grow up and how the trust is because vivi is a fairy because her father is fairy but jude and taran they are not fairies they are humans and humans are kind of like treated in a way in this kingdom so it was quite difficult because they don't have powers they don't have the strength they are not built with horns or stuff like that so you are in jude's head basically and you get to see how so many oh, guys just read this book because it was crazy it was very crazy so many things that were happening but then there's prince cardan according to what she said of course i want to be like them they are beautiful as blades forged in some divine fire and cardan is even more beautiful than the rest i hate him so much that sometimes when i look at him i can hardly breathe so they are enemies like she doesn't like cardan cardan believes that humans are less than fairies so he treats her like trash he plays pranks on her and stuff like that and he wants her to worship the ground he walks on do you get but she's very stubborn but Taryn, her twin sister is different she's quiet and stuff like that but i have to say there's something that the twin sister did that i really really i don't get it i just don't get it like why would you do that to your sister i feel like are you okay upstairs it's one thing to be stupid it's another thing to be bad I don't know what I, what I said doesn't make sense, but you guys get it. So I gave this five stars because I was it was very intense. Oh my god, there was this particular scene that everybody was just dying. <laughs> then the next book I read is this one, A Love of Convenience by Adesua Oman oh Wokedi. So this is my first book by this author. But guys, can you see I tapped the shit? I tapped it. Oh my god. Yeah, I tapped it. I, this was a body read with Karima. We decided to read this together. It's a cheating trope. So if you don't like cheating trope, uh, you might want to stay clear of it. But I feel like it's not that bad, to be quite honest. So we are in this girl's head. Her name is AZ. And she has always had a crush on this guy, Dilly, since when they were five years old. Some things happened, some things happened. She landed in the U. I think it's USA or UK. I've forgotten the particular, but she's in abroad. But one day she met Dilly on the street, and Dilly needed something to her because his, his visa had already expired, so he will be deported to back to Nigeria and some other things. So, and he also has a fiance in Nigeria that he left. He came to abroad hoping to find a job and you know be better than bring his fiance over there, but things didn't work out like that for him. Apparently, things were harder 
over there uh, but easy she is already like she's a, she's a boss lady she's a boss lady she's already made it she's very rich and all that she has her own apartment but she still loves dilly so apparently she decided to help dilly by getting married to him so he can get the green card in just one year without even collecting any money from him so he was so happy then that's where the first proximity comes in because she ne he needs to move in with her and prove that they are really really in love with each other that they are really really um married to each other you know that kind of thing for the officials so that led to another thing that led to another thing that led to another thing there were so many things i cried because there was a part where they introduced a kind of uh I don't, I don't want to say what it is, but something was introduced in it and I lost my uncle to that. So I was really, really um, touched by the way the writer portrayed the whole pain, the whole feeling. It was really, really sad. At the end of it, you see how things work out. But I feel like AZ was acting a little bit immature because I feel like you're in love with somebody since when you, you're five years old. What did you know when you're five years old? Excuse me. Are you, are you okay upstairs? Are you okay? But it's okay. It's okay. Everyone to their home. And also the fact that Dilly, Dilly was acting like a pawn, like he didn't know what he wants or he, he kept on mentioning his ex, his uh, fiance's name every five seconds. Oh my God. It was, it was cringy, but guys, if you can shove those things to the side, you actually love the old drama of the book and everything. But then they were making stupid choices. Just really, it was good. I gave it four stars, but Karima did not agree with me. Karima, immediately there was cheating trope in it. Karima was already turned off. So that's why I said, maybe if you don't, this is my first time reading a cheating trope. So I was not really expecting anything. And to be quite honest, I didn't really care, but I don't like cheating in real life. <laughs> Better than the movies by Lean Painter. Today, I'm going to meet one of my students from Poland. She's reading this book too. That was why I decided to pick it. So I was like, okay, let me read it so we can talk about it today. This is crazy. It is very sweet, very cheesy. At this point, I'm actually thinking about giving it 4.5 because it was going to be a five stars until something happened where this babe was just transferring aggression. So I, I didn't like it. I didn't like the way she did it. I didn't like the way she treated every other person everyone that tried to correct her she was treating them like she was talking to them like that you should just calm down calm the f okay so this is what it's about it's about this girl named liz lizzie lizzie is in love with michael michael left town when they were younger she has a neighbor named wes now lizzie and wes are enemies but in a cute way because they were just taunting each other it was actually really fun reading about their old banter and everything so when michael all of a sudden came back into the city she was like oh this is a sign you must take me to prom my love has come you know that she believes in rom-coms like she's this lovey-dovey kind of girl and <laughs> it's actually sweet so she decided to link up with wes her enemy so that wes can help her get michael to take her to the prom but along the way she started falling in love with wes but the funniest thing is that she did not realize that she was in love with wes until when it was kind of like late but something happened something happened so it's enemies to love her because the both of them fight like crazy but i really really love i really love their banter the parts where they were sending messages to one another i loved it so much it was so sweet there were even movie references i i i actually enjoyed reading that part too the next book i read is this one praise by sarah kate honestly when i actually picked this book i thought it was a dark romance but i, w I was later corrected and i realized that it's not dark romance but it's a little bit similar let's not lie because it talks about bdsm this girl her name is charlie and she has an ex-boyfriend Bo. for some reason they broke up the reason is in the book of course but they broke up and she had to go pick up some money that she was supposed to collect from her ex-boyfriend but somehow somehow it went to her ex-boyfriend's dad's house instead so she went to go and pick it up there and from there she <laughs> the book was very very crazy guys okay so boo's father his name is emerson when charlie got to emerson's office there was a lady she mistook her for one of the girls that emerson normally has over so the lady was like okay get be on your knees before it comes in and she was like why would I be on my knees? And then from there, something, something happened. She met Bo's dad and she realized that she has a praise kink. 
now that is what the book is about praise some other things happened with our own father too it, it was quite a deep book but guys it's my first time reading a book on bdsm so i was quite skeptical at first because i was not understanding the old get on your knees get on your knees kind of thing i'm like ah, what is happening like and then she, there was a part that pissed me off a little but when i discussed with my friends and they were like okay that's how bdsm is and i'm like oh so apparently Bo and his father emerson they're not really close something happened and the lashes players club so that club is a place where you can express your kink without discrimination and she got exposed to that so many things happened but guys i really enjoyed the book at the end of the day i enjoyed the book even though i was um, at first <laughs> and i would like to actually read the book too i learned a lot from the book but not learning a lot like in an educative way no in a you know the other way oh my god when i picked this book i think i picked it as a five star prediction because taylor jenkins is one of my faves she's one of my faves always will be one of my faves um this one i rated a four star now i think everybody everybody knows this story everybody knows the story so it's about this girl named emma she was married to a high school sweetheart she has been in a relationship with this guy for like nine years and she got married to him oh my god the, the proposal was actually sweet and then he travels to a place and he never came back he was reported dead so she grieved for some years and now she's about to move on and she's now in love with sam sam is also one of her childhood friends that she never even gave face in the beginning so she has started her life anew she's now engaged to sam and then one day then jay say that's her husband's name jay say called that he's coming back home that he oh my god that guy suffered guys that guy suffered so now it's it's, it's her choice to make who she's gonna stick with if she's gonna stay with her husband or she's gonna stay with sam so you get to go along with her through all the decisions she has to make i felt like the book was actually really really good honestly i felt like it was not a difficult choice to make and she made it difficult well it's love so i cannot say taylor jackie's read made it look realistic it was very realistic but there were some things that she did that's emma there were some things that she did i didn't really, really like i felt irritated I, I felt like this is something that you could actually decide asap fine it will break one person's heart but at the same time you don't need to drag them along like that but the book was very good uh, you you guys you gotta read it oh my god oh my god my sweetheart oh yee! this is the last book in the twister series i finished the twister series i can boldly proudly say i finished the twisted series so this one is about stella and christian stella is the you know influencer she has mm -mm, million subscribers oh my I said subscriber million followers on instagram I, honestly god god when will i reach that point will i ever reach that point okay so it talks about our relationship with christian christian is another is a dangerous guy too and so many things happen in this book guys but i was actually angry because in the beginning the book will not tell you how christian started having feelings for stella but you know it just started with him having feelings and claiming her and being possessive and stuff like that so I, I i was like angry like what the hell like a rom-com would tell you that particular moment that you realize that you love this person you know that kind of thing i was expecting that which i read i found in the like like i think it was at the end of the book that i found that out and i was like okay anna hung i see what you did there so stella has a stalker and christian is gonna help her discover who the stalker is and there were so many so many crazy things but honestly guys the fact that this was a perfect ending the end the end is the most beautiful guys it was the most beautiful <sighs> i really loved it so much i'm sorry but i was just I was just pissed off with Stella at some point because I felt like, oh my god, like why are you acting like this? There was a part where she did something. I don't want to spoil the book, but I was like, why are you acting like this? Anyway, I gave the book a 4.5 stars. I wanted to give it a 5 stars because the book was good, but I just didn't like the way something 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 happened there. I was like, why are you acting like this? And I saw Ava, I saw Bridget, everybody everybody's conclusion in this book was um chef's kiss it was well done and i was like oh my god wives are for rainy days side chick are for the best days this is how it looks like this book is crazy guys it is very tiny it's by chiama rosemary madumare madumare I, I don't know if i'm pronouncing it right she's a nigerian uh author you can see how 
tiny the book is yeah so this book is actually very crazy because we talked about this lady her name is ikene her husband is a womanizer egocentric narcissistic manipulative kind of man and you just see a story in this book they have they've been married for a few months and the guy managed to destroy her life to be quite honest I, I was just so pissed off but i really enjoyed the book because i could feel her pain although i, I felt like she should have taken this decision like she shouldn't have taken the decision she took she was acting too submissive but she's a wife then i'm like okay wh what exactly how else would she have actually acted without seeming like a you know disobedient wife or something i don't know but then again you go through it it was actually very very I i'm surprised the book is very tiny like this because i actually enjoyed it but i didn't really like the ending because i felt like nah it shouldn't have ended that way but you know life it, life just be life in sometimes life is a biatch sometimes so you you just cannot predict it i got a lot of information from the book like i knew what happened in the past i knew what happened in the present and i'm still i know what is happening you know it's crazy the last book i read is this one that is in every mirror she's black this was my birthday gift from kenny one of my birthday gifts because she gave me two gifts so uh yes this talks about three different women Muna, Kemi, and Brittany. Muna is like a refugee. She escaped from her country to Sweden. Or oh, I think it's Somalia. One of the two. Then Kemi is a high class lady. She works. She's she's in a very high position. And then Brittany. Brittany was a model, but then she gave up on that dream because of some issues and then she now became a flight attendant. So while I was reading this book, it just I thought the three of them were going to connect in one kind of way that is going to be special and make the whole thing amazing but no it just talks about each of them's problems and how they are all connected to one guy named journey but this journey eh, <laughs> i don't know how to explain the guy is weird because how can you be like that the only person i actually resonated well with is muna because of her struggles and then having no one and then at the end of the day doing something that was actually very painful you know she's the only one i connected with but kemi and Brittany, i feel like they made their own choices with their eyes open it, yes they wanted a better life yes they are all black ladies but then these decisions they took they took knowing fully well that things will go might go wrong or not like and they also saw the signs but they they chose to ignore so the thing is i don't want to tell you about both of all of them because then i'll spoil the book but at the same time i I enjoyed the book but I just felt like a lot of things were actually annoying like the way Kemi was all about wanting a man like she was just wanting a man and all that and and then you finally found the man and then you're not acting all weird with another man like what is wrong with you and then Brittany Brittany had a boyfriend let, will I say boyfriend they've been dating for four years and the guy was about to propose but he wanted her to you know as a flight attendant she needs to settle down and all that but it was not looking feasible so at the end of the day he had not yet proposed and then she met johnny and things just went sideways from there these ladies want better lives but at the same time sometimes pff, the warning is in front of you you just have to take that warning and you know what well, anyway Sha, i gave it a 3.5 stars because i enjoyed reading the story but i just felt like it was so freaking long it's 400 pages long and then at the end of the day what did i learn from it I didn't learn anything like i didn't giggle i didn't it's so sad so yeah okay let's embers of the books ah i'm excited so i realized that i've not really showed you guys the embers but so that's the logo i chose i got it on aliexpress i think it was around 21 dollars or 27 dollars one of the two so um this is how it comes then i just fix it in here Oh yeah, I remember this gave me oh my god, this gave me a lot of problem. There's another thing I noticed that I have to I have to press down hard when I want to. <clears throat> oh this is so good! <laughs> Oh my god, you guys are so far away. What is 
for watching i hope you've seen my october tbr video where i chose from the tbr jar oh my god i'm so excited so if you've not seen it please go check it out so you can know the books i'm going to be reading and also i would like to know which ones you'll be reading so yeah oh and if you've read any of these ones please tell me your ratings what you think about them in the comment section i really really want to know because i know there are some books i might not like and you like but i don't know you know you know so i'll see you guys in my next video do you sis ah i'm actually sick i don't know if you can see my face but i'm sick his, his wife i don't know how to explain it the fantasy is actually crazy how do they explain fantasy i need to get stuff like this and stop doing this what is this well, like what is this let me just get the real thing that they put your finger through so i can look cute i like it but i can't even move my hand Oh, well, that's the oh, it's upside down. <laughs> Let's not lie, they were making stupid stuff. They were making stupid, they like this had a, a lot of things that I don't know. Is the light drinking? They <laughs> okay, so 